Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm really Marks with today's top stories. In the last hour, we have been notified that at least four rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip into Israel. Two of these rockets were intercepted by the Iron Dome system, and two landed in empty fields. Thank goodness, so, so far there are no casualties and no reported damage. We are waiting for news from the IDF who will investigate. In other news, a couple of weeks ago we spoke about something quite revolutionary taking place in Israel and that is the Leviathan natural gas starting to, to pump gas uh, out or starting to be operational and today the Leviathan pumped its first supply of natural gas to Egypt. This is quite extraordinary both for the two countries and for the region. Israel currently has peace agreements with both um, Egypt and Jordan and um, this changes the dynamics of the region quite substantially and also allows for greater economic growth for both countries. In addition to pumping gas to Egypt, Israel will now be able to send the natural gas through to Europe via Egypt. So really it is a phenomenal um, uh, event taking place in the region and one that is sure to grow the economy quite substantially. And we are just over a week away from International Holocaust Memorial Day, which takes place on the 27th of January every year. Yesterday we spoke about the launch of the hashtag We Remember campaign, where we encourage viewers, no matter what your religion, no matter what your background, to take some time to remember the victims of the Holocaust, the six million Jews and other victims that included Roma and Sinti, um, political dissidents, people uh, who were homosexual, who were all deemed undesirable by the Nazi genocide machine. And we ask you to do this by sharing the hashtag we remember with a picture of yourself across various social media. Now Israel is preparing for the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz death camp and President Rivlin today announced that he will be hosting 40 leaders including the heir to the British throne, Prince Charles, who will be in the country to commemorate the liberation of the Auschwitz death camp. But what does the situation look like for Israel survivors or what are the statistics? How do they currently stand? Sadly, daily, we lose more and more survivors around the world as they, uh, to age or to illness. But at the moment, Israel's community of Holocaust survivors stands at about 192,000. And at least two-thirds of those survivors had their roots in Europe, while the other third come from Arab or Muslim countries that also suffered as a consequence of the Holocaust. So uh, we really encourage you to share your stories on our Facebook page. Join us with the We Remember campaign. It is something that Lay of the Land and the Israel Brief is very, very proud to participate in. Now, those are your top stories for the day, but don't forget you can check out our content online on our website at www.layoftheland.online. You can read uh, my letter to Golda Meir. No, she's not still alive, so she's not going to be reading it any time soon. But uh, I've often wondered what would I tell Golda uh, if I had to meet or if she had to see the state of Israel today. So check out that article. It's up on our website. It's also up on our Facebook page. And uh, while you're there, like us, follow us, invite your friends to like us and follow us. And don't forget to share in the hashtag We Remember campaign. And also, if you want to contribute to uh, the bushfire crisis campaigns in Australia, we do have links up on there as well. And also you play a very important part in getting Israel's side of the story out to the masses. And uh, you can do this by subscribing to our channel, The Israel Brief. It's on YouTube. Simply click on the subscribe button. And please don't forget to share our content. It helps 
educate people who may not hear our side of the story on any mainstream news network. So with the Wednesday edition of the Israel Brief, I'm Raleigh Marks and we'll chat again tomorrow.